Hi guys, what's up? Nikos here. Today we're making a video about LMMS. It's a sound program uh, about recording music. I, I think you already saw it because uh, you saw the, 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 the previous video. Then I'm gonna link in the description if you didn't see it. It was kind of uh, how I get inspiration for my songs. Uh, but now we're gonna make a tutorial about how to create songs with LMMS. <laughs> So, uh, when you download it, actually, I, I'm gonna put a link to a random tutorial on how do you download it. Or actually, no, I'm gonna just put a link to the website where you can download it, because uh, you don't need a tutorial to download it, it's very really straightforward. Uh, but still, now, uh, as soon as you open it, you will get on this page. Now, don't, don't mind this bar up here, it's just GNOME that, that I'm using, because I use Linux, I don't use Windows or Apple. And uh, so don't mind this bar, you're gonna have this thing here, and uh, you're gonna have all of these things. You like to say, what, what is this all? What what can I do? Okay, today we're gonna be playing, yeah, because he's playing, he's having fun, on this guy right here. So uh, forget about all of the other stuff, we're gonna talk about this guy right here. So basically you will start with a kicker, and, and we start playing with it. So as you can see, if we left click here, we can add some uh, blue spots on the uh, on the bar. So if we do play, as you can see, we are creating a melody. I mean, melody is kind of a rhythm. Uh, oops, I messed up. Okay, sorry. So as you can see, uh, let, let's create a cool melody. Let's, let's do like this. Now, as you can see, we're, we're doing something that's always going. Uh, as you can see, uh, a bit of what of, of true about this. This is called a loop. So uh, when you activate it, it, it always loops around. So if I do like this, as you can see, now it loops around back to the start. So that's a thing right there that you must know. Uh, and it's something like this. And as you can see, it's a loop. But uh, that's the first thing that you could do. You could create a cool loop. Uh, like, uh, let's create something fun, then let's keep it always on. Let's do like this. I wanna do a cool effect like this, I don't... Okay. Okay, it, it's a bit... It hurts a bit my, my ears, but alright, let, let's do something better. Okay, let, let's do something random, okay. Okay. Okay, th this is kinda weird, but uh, actually guys, this is the kicker, and it needs uh, 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 like an example instrument that you're gonna get at the start. Uh, now, uh, as you can see, there is this bar here. If you go on the uh, here on this note, you will get my samples, and you can, uh, as you can see, oh my god, so so loud. <laughs> I uh, I'm sorry. Uh, you you can check out a lot of instruments that are here. I'm gonna lower a bit my volume because I I'm uh, killing my ears right now. As you can see, there are some beats that you can add. Uh, a lot of things that you can add, uh, actually, by left clicking on them, you can hear them, and if you uh, double click on them, you can add them here, and you can create a rhythm with them. So, let's do like this, and then let's put to the kicker something like this. Let's see what happens. Wow, this is kind of cool rhythm. Look, I did a kind of cool stuff. Now, let's try to add uh, this. Let's put them like this. That's not bad. And see, you can create a cool rhythm just using these uh, things. And, uh, and then you like to say, let, let's go still, let, let's try to navigate into instruments. And let's take a... Okay, this is bad. Okay, let's take a cell. Now, let, let's remove... Oh no, let's not remove all of this stuff. As you can see, that this is a cell. Oh my god, this is so good. This song is so good, it's going on uh, so nicely. But as you can see, because it's a solo, you want uh, you want it to be higher pitched or lower pitched. How to get that happening? The thing you must do, as you can see, is a lady telling you, double click, go, double click to open this pattern in piano roll. So if you double click on the, on the thing, as you can see, you will open this piano roll that looks like a complicated thing, but actually it's not. With control, left control and the mouse wheel, you can, uh, okay, you can scroll to zoom it in and out. As you can see, this is the cell. Why are there three cells? Oh, okay, because I messed up. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, you can also, if you don't wanna add some notes for error when you double click, you could also right click 
and do opening piano roll. So as you can see, we have two notes, and this is the piano, uh, uh, an image of the piano, so you can change the pitch of the note. Naturally, it will become shorter when you raise the pitch. Okay. Yeah, and then you can raise the pitch as you want, so I think if you want to do it like this, and then like this. Okay, this is gonna sound so weird. Let's try. <laughs> it, it sucks. Okay, we basically uh, ruined our sound. But anyways, dudes, I, I recorded a lot more, but I'm not gonna show you that, because I wanted the turn out to be short, and maybe in the next episode I'm gonna put some things of that recording that I did. So I'm gonna stop the first episode of the tutorial right here, because we learned a lot of stuff. We learned how to make a loop, how to change the pitch of a loop. In the next episode, we're gonna learn how to add new instruments in, and I'm gonna show you all the instruments that you can add, and I'm gonna show you also how to create actually a song, because we created only the loops for the song, but how to insert the loops in the song. So be ready to check out my new episode as soon as it comes out, and I hope you enjoyed guys, see you in a bit, bye!